Okay, I wanted to post a little bit of my success uh, in getting my Pioneer PL41 uh, running at as close of a proper speed as I could. So I've got this old PL41 that I bought um, a year ago. Well, I just unpackaged it. And typical story of eBay, it's not exactly the way that it was uh, described. But anyway, joke's on me. I didn't open it up. I didn't have time, but here we are. So I know my KISS records, and the fact of the matter is I could tell this bad boy was running fast. Uh, it is certainly a situation where you must have the right belt. Um, I've got a couple of other, you know, for, here for parts and uh, a variety of different belts, it turns out. So getting the right belt on there is going to be key, um, which I was able to get a belt that made it sound a lot better than the original belt that supposedly came with it. So switching out the belt, I could still notice it was better, significantly better, but running ever so slightly fast. So got on uh, Vinyl Engine and found some people or a guy talking about electrical tape and then another guy talking about filing down the capstan that's here. Well, I've got other capstans because I've got um, spare parts laying around, but the truth of the matter is I wanted to, to try the $2 uh, solution first. So that's what I did. Went to Home Depot, got my uh, roll of electric tape, um, and bought a 30-foot roll of electric tape. This is what it looks applied on there with the belt. So put about 10 feet on, could tell that it was better. And the way I could tell that it was better is because I printed out from Vinyl Engine the strobe discs. So I was a little bit confused as to what I'm looking for at first, but the truth of the matter is I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to reconnect the belt so I can show you what you're looking for on the strobe disc. Okay, got the belt reattached. So on this Robbins version, you're looking for this outer line because I'm doing 33 and a third. And the bottom line is when those bars tend to stay uh, stationary, they're not progressing this way or this way, this way, clockwise is too fast. Counterclockwise is too slow. So you're able to print these out, put it on there, and it'd be ideal to have a strobe, but just in normal, you know, fluorescent conditions, you know, I, I, can, I can view that well enough. Now, with 30 feet of tape, because I bought only one roll, I was able to get it to the point where these lines, they move ever so insignificantly that I have decided that I could probably use one more revolution of electric tape, but that the truth of the matter is I decided to stop there. Some point down the future I probably will. Now there's another fella who was talking about on the capstan, and this is a good idea too I think, but getting down in here and putting a very small jeweler's file and decreasing the radius of where the belt rides for your 33 and a third and your 45 RPM. And while I've, like I said, I've got other ones, I just decided to go with the easier solution first and not permanently change any of the original equipment. Anyway, all of this information is pretty clear in Vinyl Engine, um, except that I spent a couple of hours just poking around to find someone who had already made this video, so I decided to just make this video. Um, definitely reach out to me. I'm not an expert whatsoever, but I'm a guy who spends time just trying to figure it out. Thanks.